and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be like a makeup revolution, best and the worst. I have been over the past couple of months trying out so many of their products. So many of them I am so obsessed with and then there's some that I'm like, whoa, what happened? If I'm looking orange, I don't know what's going on with the contrast of this video, but I'm wearing this country AF denim jacket. It's making me look so much orange than what I actually am. Rude. My makeup actually looks cooked. It's because I did a full face using a brand, which you'll see before this goes up probably. So some of the products are like, yeah, and then I tried to fix it and put some new stuff on it. No. So if the makeup looking shit and the lighting's bad and I'm looking orange, welcome to my life. I love being a little bit sassy. I love being a little bit honest here on my channel and a lot of you guys enjoy it too. You love when I'm like throwing shade at a brand or a product or whatever. And please guys, remember that this is all just for fun. Like it's obviously my, my opinions are what I really think. I do exaggerate how I talk and stuff when I'm talking about that, like a bad product, you know, to make the video a bit more interesting and like, you know, it's just a little bit of fun, a little bit of humor. Some people don't actually get that and come for me so hard for being a bitch. It's just, it's just makeup ain't that serious. And it's really funny because every time I like knock a like cheaper brand or a cheaper product, people come for me like I'm high end just because you can afford it and just because you're high end. And I honestly take so much offense to that because if you knew me and you knew where I come from, I'm not high end. I'm not bougie. I'm, I'm not like that at all. Yeah, I like expensive makeup, but I like all types of makeup. If you're interested in some of these products that I'm going to mention and my opinions and reviews on them, keep on watching. Let's have some fun. Let's talk about some makeup. Yeah, so let's just jump straight into it. So the first two products I'm going to talk about are number one, the Makeup Revolution Pro Base Aqua Priming Base Mist. And then I've got the Pro Fix Amazing Makeup Fixing Spray right here. So I've tested these out a little bit, and to be honest, I don't know. This one has glycerin in it, so if you want to use this as a primer water, which is what it's marketed to do, that's probably a good thing, because if you didn't know, glycerin in cosmetics is like super glue. So you can even use this like a fixing mist to uh, make your shimmery eyeshadows more vibrant kind of thing. And then this is just a basic setting spray to set down your powders. I haven't noticed when using this any longevity in my makeup. I haven't noticed anything like groundbreaking. I just know that it makes my powders look a little settled and not so cakey. And I don't look like I've just been with powder, if you know what I mean. Where with this one, I definitely can tell it's got glycerin in it because when I use it for like my eyeshadows and stuff, it makes the product stick and like more vibrant. When I've used this as a priming spray, I have noticed that my makeup has gone on really nicely and I don't know if that's just the glycerin adhering to the product, if you know what I mean, but I honestly, they're just sprays in my opinion. I'm really bad with like setting sprays, except for like the Urban Decay All Nighter. That one makes your makeup last all day. But that is like a high-end brand, so I don't know if these are like, yeah, I just know that this one hasn't got that like adhesive effect like this one does. But I will continue to keep trying them out. I'm sorry if that review of these products was not that great, but how do you like tell I don't know. Next. Oh my god, this. I don't know who was like, let's create this. Seriously. So this is the Ultra Strobe Cream from Makeup Revolution, of course. Everything is from Makeup Revolution today. And I bought this because I'm like, oh my god. I thought maybe it's like Max Strobe Cream. Not that I've ever tried that, but maybe. I put way too much on my hand. So what it pretty much is, is like a moisturizing kind of product with a bit of a... Uh, pearlescent kind of glittery finish to it. You can use this as a primer, mix it into your foundation. It has an interesting scent. It reminds me of something when I was a kid actually. And I can't really remember it. Don't you hate that when scents like, you're like, I know this scent, but where do I know it from? Every time I've used this, I'm not even fucking kidding. My makeup has looked rank on top. Like, I don't know if it's like clings to dry patches and stuff, but it just makes my foundation on top look so like, like patchy and just not okay. So I was really disappointed in that one. Like good one, Makeup Revolution. Like they have so many hits and then they come out with some things that I'm like, why? 
what was the purpose of that let me know just because i just mentioned the strobe cream from makeup revolution i'm gonna talk about the liquid highlighter now when i saw them come out with this i was so excited because they honestly look like the cover x cover fx custom enhancer drops highlighting drops and i was like oh my god the packaging is cute this is in the color auric gold it has a nice little dropper and then you pop it on your hand now when you blend this out you're like um that kind of looks really pretty and it does it looks really really pretty but i would wear this underneath my foundation but i would not put it on top i don't know what it is with me and liquid illuminators like this i haven't tried one over the top of my like foundation that looks good it doesn't blend into the skin it looks choppy like and then i've tried using this on top of some of my cheekbones and then going over the top with another highlighter and it just made it look so much worse. It's really frustrating because every brand keeps re like releasing them and everyone keeps talking about how good they are. And every time I try them, I'm like, are you getting paid like 80 grand in a video to say that this is good? Like, what's going on? Because I don't understand. I don't understand. But I like it underneath my foundation if I'm going for a really highlighted, glowy effect, but just not over the top of my skin. Would not recommend it over the top. There's two products I'm going to talk about. I don't, I don't know and I need your help. I need your opinions if you've tried this because I'm just like, what, what is going on? I was so excited when they brought this out. I was like, yes, because I'm obsessed with oils right now. Like the Fasali one I use, I'm obsessed with that. I don't even really know if it fucking does anything like for my skin, but putting it on before my makeup makes my makeup look a hundred times better than what it would if I used a different primer. But Makeup Revolution came out with the baking oil. It's hydrate and prep for flawless makeup application. It says on the back of here, apply to clean dry skin prior to foundation. And it comes in a really cute little dropper and it, it's very oily. It has a nice like um, citrusy kind of scent, but it's not like too citrusy. This is like coconut oil. When you put this on your skin, it's almost the feels the same as like when you use um, coconut oil to remove your makeup because I do that quite often and it's just very oily like if you had dry skin I feel like you would absolutely love this but I feel like because it's so oily for my skin type it takes a really long time to absorb the oil and I've used this before foundation like I do with my Fasali oil and it doesn't work like the Fasali one and I was really hoping it did but the Fasali one like it hydrates and it's oily and it's really good for the skin and it like makes your makeup go on so much more better but this just like makes all makeup on top like slip and slide around so I don't know if I've used too much or what I would use this as like a skincare product not necessarily like a primer before my foundation the makeup revolution what are they even called like stick foundations I got F1 for when I'm super pale. And then I also got um, F10 for like right now. Now, these are so creamy. Like I'm used to like old school foundation sticks that are like literal concrete and you're like tugging at your skin to blend where these are just so like creamy. You can just like apply them via, you know, the stick and it just goes on so smoothly and just so easy and it's just creamy. And it blends so easy like it's very dewy it's a very dewy formula so if you've got super dry skin you're gonna love these if you're oily stay away from them but I feel like when I try to set this foundation because it's so moist and like dewy and glowy it when I'm setting it it almost picks up the foundation and then I start breaking up especially like around my nose and stuff I'm so disappointed hopefully I can figure out a way of using this I also tried using this with the oil as a primer before I figured out that this was like dewy. What the hell? Why did I do that? A bloody slippery slide all over my face and it was not okay. I just don't know why. I did that. That was so stupid of me. But I didn't know that these were going to be so freaking creamy and so like dewy. But um, if you use these and you're not, you're not on the dry side and you're more like normal and you know how to work them and you know how to use them and, that, and you like them, let me know. Give me some tips because I've tried these with different primers and not oils and different powders and they just, they look beautiful. But as soon as I try and set it, it's a different story. They just cake up and like break up and it's just... It's just not cute, not freaking cute. Perhaps other conceal and define full coverage, conceal and contour. I've got a um, C15, which is a bit too dark for a contour for me, and C5. I'm out. 
like I'm scraping the barrel. I love this concealer. I've mentioned it in the current favourites and in a full like best concealers type of video. Honestly, I'm obsessed with it. I know it's super affordable, but you get fuck all product. You run out of it super quick. Like I don't I don't wear makeup every day. I don't ever go through a concealer unless I'm like really like into it. And I've been using this a lot and I'm really into it, but it's just run out so quickly. But it is only like six dollars. It's so good. It's full coverage, sets really well, blends easy. There's an amazing color range. Like they just extended their color range and I'm like, yes, why can't every affordable brand, no, sorry, why can't every brand in the world cater to every skin tone? I've been trying this powder out for so long. This is the Bake and Finish Luxury Baking Powder. It's white as hell. If you're super pale, you'll probably love that this is really white, but when I fake tan, it's just like way, way too much. I feel like it's a good powder, but you cannot bake with it because every single time I have tried to bake with it, if I leave it on too long, it's just like stark white. I like baking, but I don't want it to be like, like you can see the imprint of the powder. I just like using the baking method to clean up my contour and stuff. Where with this, it's like if you leave it on too long, it's not erasing it. You dust off that ex excess powder and it's still like this like triangle. It's just... It is a good baking powder, but just don't bake for too long. You know what I mean? No going back. You can't wipe that shit away. You've got permanent bake powder on your face for the rest of the day. Okay. My number one recommendation from everyone to get from Makeup Revolution is their blush palette. Honestly, this is my original one that I bought like two years ago, I think. And this is the Hot Spices. This is in the older packaging with a mirror. I don't know why they changed their packaging from this to that. But anyway, um, I love the pigmentation. I love how they come with multiple different colors, different finishes. And it's they're pigmented, creamy, easy to blend. Um, not overly pigmented though. They're affordable, great colors. I love their blush palettes. So that's Hot Spice. Then this one's the more pinky one called Sugar and Spice. And they also come with like two like highlighting kind of shades. So if you want like a, that one has like a lilac highlighter and that's like a pinky shimmery, they'd be beautiful eyeshadows. I just wouldn't wear them on the cheeks. And this one's like their bronzer blush. All about bronze. Different types of tones of bronze in that. You can use them as bronzers. Bronze blushes. I really love them. I think they're pigmented, easy to blend. There's no issue with them. They look stunning. Great color range. I love their blush palettes. They are so freaking good next up is the their eyeshadow palette in reloaded now this was meant to be like a dupe for subculture and i'm still on the fence with this palette because i feel like it actually it dupes um subculture not just the palette coloring but the formula how do i say this don't mix too many colors together and i feel like it's not the formula i feel like it's just the color palette because a lot of these colors counteract each other like no matter what how you're gonna blend it, how much you're gonna blend, usually they end up coming out looking a little bit muddy because the polar opposites. Use the greens in this palette, don't use all the greens. Maybe you just pop that one in the crease and then that one on the lid or something like that because it can look muddy and choppy really fast. Be cautious of what colors you're mixing with what because it can go from really beautiful to real muddy and real choppy. Real this is something that I suggest every human being should go out and get. I don't care if you pop. Broke, I don't care if you're rich, bougie, I don't care, you need this in your life. This is the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Amplified Get Baked Palette. 15 pan highlighting palette. I love like every single colour. Like you have your bronzes, you have your lilacs, you have your champagnes, you have your golds, you have your yellow golds, you have some marble like purple ones, some fuchsia colours, um, like pearl colour. And it's just stunning. Like this is my favourite one. In the middle, it's called Cool and it's a gold. And then I also really love Sweet, which is like a rosy kind of champagne. I don't know like what the actual name of the lipstick line is called, but it's in the color higher. And when I saw this on the website, I was like, oh my god, it looks like a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Yes, bitch. And the packaging is nice, but the formula of the actual lipstick is really it's not very opaque. It's a very sheer. You have to build it up and it's super creamy. If you don't use a lip liner, this will slip slide all over your lips more than like a regular bullet lipstick but i think the packaging is really nice it's not the worst lipstick i've ever tried but it's definitely not my favorite it's definitely not long wearing you're gonna have to reapply this a lot and my lucky last thing i'm going to talk about is the retro Lux matte lip kit lip contour in rain i was so excited about this i, I was gonna buy all of them but i was like no i better try one so it's like you know the lip kits from kylie 
comes with a lip liner. My one thing I don't like about these is the fact that online the colors don't match what you get. Like this looks like a nude online and it's like a coral. And also the packaging of this lip like liquid lipstick. The wand is so bent. Like it's so freaking bent. I don't really like the formula of these. I feel they're very liquidy, a little streaky and very drying and they don't feel comfortable on the lips. Just really not a fan of liquid lipsticks in general, but especially this one. Like I can handle Kylie's lip kits. Um, just, <laughs> I do like the formula of them. If I was going to pick one liquid lipstick, I do like Kylie's formula. But this, they tried to dupe it, didn't do. But there is the worst and the best from Makeup Revolution that I've tried in my opinion. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. I wasn't too sassy today. Did you like how I played it down a little bit? I'm not in the mood for people to come for me. I'm just not. I'm just like, ugh. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did because it means so much. Or you can thumbs it down, love. Thumbs it down. If you don't like it, that's fine. Still, you're still interacting with my video. Still helps me whether you thumbs it up or thumbs it down. Still helps me out. If you have any video suggestions or you just want to have a chat, don't forget there is a comment box down below. Subscribe if you're new here. My name is Mary and I'd be so grateful if you would come and be a part of my family. Thank you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are. I'm going to take this makeup off and get into my pyjamas. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.